Well, we are less than a month away from the November runoff, and now we have a date for the governor debate. Both Governor John Bell Edwards and Republican Eddie Responi will face off on October 30th in Baton Rouge. Now, that event is being planned by Louisiana Public Broadcasting and may be the only debate before the November 16th runoff. WWL-TV has invited the candidates to participate in a debate here, but have not received a response. Now, attack ads, you have probably seen lots of them already, but now just a few weeks away from the governor's race, you can expect to see a lot more. You sure can. Both Governor John Bell Edwards and his challenger, Eddie Rispone, appear to be ready for a fight. Paul Dudley has been taking a look at these attack ads, and he's here now with more. Well, Katie, I'll tell you this much. Eddie Rispone, since the beginning, really has tacked his opponents with a number of these attack ads. Governor John Bell Edwards had touted the fact that his campaign had not paid for a single attack ad. But now that seems to have changed as a dirty fight for governor ramps up. Phony Responi isn't looking out for you. Get ready to see more of these. Under Edwards, murder is up 20%. Attack ads from both candidates for Louisiana governor. So the forecast for the governor's race is intense advertising storms between now and November 16th. At the October 9th debate ahead of the primary, Governor John Bell Edwards made a point to say That's this. Not me. There's not been a single ad paid for by my campaign that has been negative, not one. Now that has changed with several new ads attacking his opponent, Eddie Responi, including this one. Let Eddie Responi drag us back to the deficits and cuts to health care and education of Bobby Jindal, or continue moving forward and investing in our future. John Bell Edwards began his campaign talking about his Republican opponents wanting to take Louisiana back to the Bobby Jindal era. So framing Eddie Rispone's campaign with Bobby Jindal and Bobby Jindal's record is a natural. We asked the Edwards campaign why the change. In a statement, a spokesperson said it's important for voters to know about Eddie Rispone's record as the ultimate insider who's made himself rich while hurting working people. Clancy Dubose, political analyst at WWL-TV, says the governor is changing his ad strategy because while he got a respectable portion of the vote in the primary, it was less than what he was aiming for, and attack ads can work if done right. There's such a thing as attacking too much, and it's not a bright line. I can't tell you where it is, but you know what? Voters know it when they see it. Eddie Rispone has spent millions in attack ads. Dubo says it's a way to get himself noticed, and it has seemed to have worked. And Rispone started out in last place. Ralph Abraham was 20 points ahead of Eddie Rispone six months ago. Now Rispone finishes second, so he needs to take down the guy who's first. And we reached out to the Rispone campaign to ask the reason for their attack ads. They did not want to comment. In addition to the ads comparing Rispone to Jindal, you can also expect to see ads attacking his integrity and experience. Rispone, on the other hand, has new ads continuing to align himself with President Donald Trump, who, of course, is very popular in our state. And one last note here. Some of the attack ads aren't coming from the campaigns necessarily, but both from Democratic and Republican political action committees. We reached out to those PACs tonight, and we did not hear back. Back to you, Katie. All right, much more to come. Thanks, Paul.